many years ago, uh, 40-ish, when I was about your age, I uh, combined two of the things that I loved the most in life was shooting film and scuba diving. I, uh, I got approval of my, uh, my news director to do an underwater documentary called, uh, later it was titled, uh, The Gulf of Mexico, Believe It or Not. Uh, the challenges of shooting film underwater were uh, were numerous. It, with my underwater camera gear, I had 100 feet of film in the camera, which is about two and a half minutes. So you really had to pick your shots. Um, I had camera lights mounted on the camera, which were battery powered, and um, I had a wide angle lens. To, to the human eye, Everything I was shooting, everything I was seeing underwater was beautiful and vivid, but the film just didn't equate to that. That's because we were so deep. We were always no less than 60 feet deep, which the deeper you go, the more the colors wash out underwater. Timing is everything. When the documentary was completed and ready for air, just so happened that Jacques Cousteau and his son Philippe were in town uh, in Galveston because their ship, the uh, Calypso, was in there for repairs. They had some issues that needed uh, to be addressed. He and his son Philippe came to our studio to do an interview uh, on issues and answers. I was one of the commentators and he uh, was interested in seeing my documentary that was almost ready for air. So. Um, he sat down in the boardroom, he and his son Philippe watched the documentary, and uh, they were very complimentary. Um, it was pretty neat to have him sitting there, the, you know, one of the most famous people in the world, especially when it comes to underwater films and scuba diving. Um, the, the other day I came across a news article that talked about Jacques Cousteau seeing my film and, uh, and what he said about it.